All right, now taking a live look at Pacifica this morning. Look at that view there. Whales are popping up along the coast for months. That's been happening. A lot of people have been getting out there, drawing those large crowds to get a glimpse of these majestic mammals. And now a Pacifica resident has created a Facebook page to share the best whale watching spots along the coast. People are flocking to the coastal city of Pacifica to see one of nature's biggest wonders, the whales. Well, I've been passionate for whales for many years. You know, I started um, watching whales like probably 35 years ago. Robin Brunn is fascinated by the underwater giants. I've always just had a really a passion for them and, um, and wanted to share that with people and also be able to share our sightings so we could help each other where the whales are. She started Pacifica Whale Spotting, a Facebook group that curates all the best spots in the area yeah. to catch a glimpse um, of these large animals. 16. 16.1 thousand right now we're at. Wow. So about a month ago is about 4.2. And you don't need any fancy equipment to get a good Here, view. A I mainly have these if I see like a whale breaching or tail slapping far away, you know. So, but the, the whales have been so close here that they just want to just lunge. Um, they're, they're, they've been so close here, you don't even really need binoculars. So why are we seeing so many whales right now near the shore? They are here because there's so much food in the water for them, and they are going to follow the food to get as much food as they can to fatten up for their winter where they migrate down south. Jennifer Stock is with the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. Uh, we have whales here from Mexico as well as South America. Uh, both those stocks of animals migrate up to this part of the Pacific to eat in the summer months. Have you had to send an alert out for any uh, boating uh, safety in and around these areas? Well, we sent out a, a press announcement um, about a week ago just to remind boaters, hey, whales are here, be careful. We do have an automated um, notice to mariners that runs between May and December, and that's to all the large ships coming in and out of the Golden Gate to ask vessels to slow to 10 knots or less mm -hmm. to help protect uh, the whales that come to this region to feed from so far away. Whale spotting has become a community endeavor in Pacifica. Neighbors like Chris helping Robin post the locations of where the whales are. Many times when I'm looking, I'm looking out with binoculars like this and I will see, oh, there's a spout on the horizon and I will post that to the group or there's a spout about three quarters of a mile out. When they're like that, you don't need binoculars anymore when they're like this. Bringing people from all over to this coastal community. I've heard someone come from uh, all over the Bay Area, San Jose, uh, Sacramento, and some people can't afford to go on a whale watch. Some people can't go on a boat because they get seasick. And so this, you know, you just come right here and they're, they're right next to shore. It's, it's, uh, it's uh, very special, you know, and it's created all these new friendships and community and and creating a way to share their ocean neighbors with the world. OK, so according to the whale spotting Facebook page, uh, there were whales sightings as recent as yesterday. It's hard to say exactly how long those whales are going to be around. Uh, the group, by the way, when I filmed this was at 16,000. I just checked her almost 25,000 members on the group. It wow. really is fun to see the community kind of rally together and share all this so people come and visit. They know where to go. And it's brought a little bit of, you know, the business, you know, money to businesses there. Mm -hmm. So it's been a really great thing to see.